Hello, and welcome to Everyday Connection, with your hosts, Rigo Shields and Jean Victoria Norlock, bringing your inner light to your everyday life. So, I suppose that we should perhaps start off. Jane, you might want to tell us a little bit about yourself and how you wound up here on the uh, radio with uh, me. And uh, I gave them my introduction in the in the last show. Y'all go back and listen to the recording. I'm not doing it again. Well, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, you can always get me to talk about myself, but <clears throat> you're we're lazy here to boy. talk about you. You're a lazy boy. Um, wow, my story is way too long. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, honestly, I'm just, um, an every average day girl. I'm an author from Canada. Um, I, I love people and I found a couple of years ago after a series of some pretty funky events that, um, I rather like being connected to my spirit and great things come of it when I maintain that connection. So I have been exploring that for two years. I've been writing about it. I've been working on charity projects and working to bring other artists and authors together on those projects and um, just basically doing everything I could to just get this message out, um, which is to say everybody is connected to spirit and whatever your heart is telling you to do you really ought to do it because your heart knows what it's talking about so that's that's been my main message and uh, it's been a crazy journey and we can always get into that later at another time when you know people want to know there's always you're always welcome to visit my websites my blog sites Uh, there's nothing about me that you can't find out through my writing I have hidden nothing I intend to hide nothing my life as it were is quite literally an open book pardon the really so, pathetic pun. Uh, several open books, actually. Several, several open books. Several open books at this point. Um, my interest is in working with people who have been through very challenging life experiences. And my reasons for that is because I myself have been through some extraordinary challenging life experiences. I've, I've pretty much run the gambit. Um, I've been the victim. I've been the abuser. I've been... Um, done, done the get in trouble with the law, go to jail thing, the drugs, the alcohol. Um, you know, I, I have lost pretty much all of my family except for my amazing, incredible 14 year old daughter. Thank heavens for that. And, um, there is never a time or a place where it is okay for you to allow your, what you view as your mistakes and, and, you know, I would I would hesitate to use that word, but what you view as your mistakes to hold you back from who you truly are within. And I think that's, you know, part and parcel of my journey was to go through all this stuff and come out at the end and say, you can. Every minute of every day, decide what your now moment is. Do I want to change my life now? Do I want to do something different now? Do I want to be a better person now? Do I want to affect people in a positive way simply by being more purely me now? 